Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching and before you do anything else, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Today we're doing another top 10 and this time it's going to be none other than James Franco. James Franco you say? What do you mean James Franco? That's yes. interesting. Right? Well James Franco is not only an actor, a writer, a poet, a teacher at NYU. A teacher, yeah. He's also an artist, a photographer, and I think once you start getting involved in the arts or any type of art, it's almost customary that you dabble in other parts of it. So James Franco was born in Palo Alto, California in April 19th, 1978. He has two brothers, Dave Franco, which is another actor. I have always been a fan of James Franco's work uh, movie-wise. I think his roles are so diverse. And when I found out that he was an artist, I even became more of a fan. Even though there's not much about his work online, I was able to find it enough to compile a top 10 James <coughs> Franco's painting. And the first one that you see here is um, a series of Christmas trees in a television. <laughs> <laughs> the style of this reminds me of John Michel Basquiat a bit. Yeah, you were right. right. There's stuff being scribbled out that Basquiat did. What are those 1994 to 1990? What is that? I don't know. Maybe. Um, what is it? I'm thinking he was inspired by the, the types of roles he made or the types of... Oh, you didn't investigate that? <laughs> well, there's really not much about like what the paintings are about. Really? Yeah. James Franco, much. we want to know. Hopefully one day he'll see this. <laughs> Hopefully one day he'll see this and he, he'll call me and tell you this is what this was about. I love the TV. It just brings me the greatest memories. Maybe, and it's that style of TV, you know? Yeah, I love it. We all grew up with that type of TV with the antenna. But anyway, maybe it has something to do with Christmas, maybe it doesn't. I actually don't care for Christmas, but... <laughs> <laughs> I like this painting because it reminds me of the work of Jean-Michel Basquiat. Whether it's inspired by that or not, who knows. But, that's number one. Painting number two is this one from his earlier works, which is kind of creepy. It's almost ooh, like ooh, ooh, ooh. an alien of sorts. But I thought it was very original. Most of his work does not look like this one. It says Death 13? And a lot of blue hairs or something. Yeah, that, there's like an obscure piece of writing on the bottom left-hand corner of it. Maybe it's like a point <coughs> or something. I don't know what's his referencing, but this person is a little bit androgynous. You can't really tell if it's a male or a female. Probably because she's like a skeleton. Yeah, it's very Ugh. alien. Well, he was in the movie The Alien Covenant, which was years later, though. I mean, nothing to do with this painting, but... <laughs> Maybe that's why he chose to take that role because of this work he did. Maybe. Next. Number three is Aww. this hummingbird. Now he did a series of different birds and this one was my favorite out of the ones he did. I think the style is... I wouldn't think that's a Frank, but it's cute. It doesn't look like what Franco does, but it's yeah, it's cute. It's very well painted. I like the way he has layered the paint throughout the bird. It almost, those look like feathers. Yeah. And I like the, the background, the teal. It's very, I don't know, it's very calming painting. And the, <laughs> I don't get a calmness out of his paintings, but this one I do. Yeah, it's cute. Now, oh, this is a painting like of Jared. Jared Leto, I'm No, assuming. no wonder. I love Jared Leto. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it looks like Jared, by the way. Do you think <laughs> it looks like him? What drew me to this painting is the look on his face and, like, the smirk or the way the mouth was. Because the mouth seems like it has an eye inside of it. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, his gaze is very intriguing. I, I have a... I know I've mentioned it before in another video that I don't like when he puts text in his paintings. I love it! But had he not wrote Jared there, we would be completely oblivious to who <laughs> this painting is about. I love it. Because if you're labeling a painting, or you're titling a painting, that kind of gives you... gives it away, but... The text does not bother me on this painting, but I've seen some of his where I, I think, you know, the text is not necessary. But this one I like. I love it. Jimmy Dean. This one uh, oh. is James Dean, and he played James Dean in the bio, 2001 biopic. Really? Yeah. So this one is definitely inspired by James Dean, and I kind of think when he played his, that role, he looked a lot like James Dean. James Dean is a very interesting character. He painted this, he's actually pretty skilled. Yeah, he's good. He's good in a lot of, a lot of people have debated whether or not James should be considered an artist, but he is actually very skillful. That's very good. His subject matter sometimes is questionable, but I don't know, I think art should provoke something. You either like it or you hate it, but as long as you're making the viewer feel something. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. What I like about this one is the shadow of the sunglasses. I know! It's so weird! I was thinking the same thing. This one is a painting of him and Gus. I do not know who Gus is. <laughs> but he loves him. 
But you know who Gus reminds me of? Maybe it's a guy from the movie Why Him? Because I know he did several paintings for that show. If you watch that movie, look inside of the house. There's some of his own work in that in that movie. I don't know who mm. Gus is. No. But he likes them. There's hearts. <laughs> <laughs> So it doesn't say there's no explanation on his paintings. There's very few out there regarding his work, especially when it comes to explaining things or things like that. Wow. Like I had to do like a whole day of, of investigation. Investigation and research. Doesn't it look like James Franco has buck teeth? Has what? Buck teeth. That means like when the front teeth stick out further than their bottom <laughs> teeth. <laughs> no, he looks like he had bad hair day. I really like the shirt in this painting. I think it's very oh, well done. Oh, yeah. What do you think about the dripping of the words? Because I like to drip I paint too. I love it. I am proud of you. That's a painting of James <laughs> Franco calling me and telling me <laughs> that he's proud that I'm out promoting his work. <laughs> <laughs> Is that out of one of his movies? No, I don't think this was in the back. That looks like James Franco to me. I mean, of course it seems... I don't know. Like I said, there's not much about his work. But look at the telephone cord and look at the shadow of the telephone cord cord cast on his chest. I mean, this guy is skilled and he's talented. I mean, he does little details that someone who is doing painting just to paint wouldn't put in there. I mean, the and the eyebrows doing. are spot, like perfect. I think he's making like he was really good. I think he's very talented and he can do no wrong in my eyes. Does he have a face on his nipple? Is that a face? Where? On his nipple. It looks like the mad emoji. <laughs> right? I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, but his nipple looked like a mad emoji. He did a whole series of fat animals, and my favorite out of those one has been the, the squirrel one. He has one of a fat horse, and it just looks odd, and a fat cat. I hate cats, so of course I couldn't include those in this one, but this one is the one that I like from his fat series. I like it because the eyes are like those ribbons to support breast cancer yeah and in this one i really like the text and the way the colors are different and the way they drip on the fur i i, I don't know why i have a feeling that he hides messages on his art on his paintings well that's probably a good guess because i think we all put things in our paintings either very in your face or very hidden and i'm obscure. sure these guys hiding something there. Because you know I like to hide things in my... Yeah, well, I know you're... Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely know you do. And then this one, I was captivated just by the way the person is against the wall, his look of like, oh, I'm done with this. And sometimes I feel like, gosh, I'm done with this. I'm done with being an adult. I'm done with being a grown man. I want to cross that out and be a boy again. Be a kid, have to pay no bills, don't have to go to work, don't have to get early. You have your mom cooking for you. Right, so this painting, I don't know, it makes me... It's very nostalgic for me. Does it say what it means? Nope. No, no. So your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. And then the last one, which is a little bit... <laughs> it's very comedic for me, but it's a little bit... You'll see. <laughs> uh -oh. I love teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> teamwork? Makes the dream work. Yeah, I love it. Let me see. It's so cute. I like the background. The background of the trees and the foliage reminds me a lot of like Gauguin's work and the way he employed colors when he was painting trees and things like Triple that. Triple team. So I, I like that. I think the deer are very well painted. You see two guys and one girl, yeah. I think it's very whimsical. Um, I love it. And here I like the the text because it detracts from the action from the action that's going on <laughs> because otherwise it'd be like too in your face and the text kind of like makes it a little bit softer not so abrasive so anyway those were my top 10 james franco paintings let me know which one was your favorite what do you think about his art did you even know he was an artist does he have like exhibits and stuff? Uh, he ha yeah, he's exhibited all over the world, even at the MoMA. Really? Uh, at the Tate in London, and he has a, a gallery that shows his work, but all his prints are currently sold out. So people are actually buying his work. Wow, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think of James Franco's work, I mean? I'll, well, I'm biased because I love Franco. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you become as big as a fan as I am of James Franco, leave your comments, please subscribe, share, and adios, goodbye.